I'm Katherine Kellogg. I'm the founder of GoingZeroWaste.com, author of 101 Ways to Go Zero Waste, and the spokesperson for Plastic Free Living for National Geographic. Today's class is all about living a more sustainable life. There's no one right way to be sustainable. There's not a certain way you have to live. You don't have to wear a bunch of hemp or live in a tree house. You can take all of these principles and find a way to make it perfect for you and perfect for exactly the way that you wanna live. When we talk about living more sustainably, it's really about cutting out a lot of waste. It's about cutting out the excess. It's about focusing on the things that are truly important to you. I feel really fortunate to have a local market like this that's pretty close to where I live. The tips I'm going to be sharing with you today though can transfer to Safeway or Kroger or Rayleigh's or any other type of grocery store that you have. I wrote down a few of the meals that I'd be interested in eating this week, made note of all of the ingredients I already had and which ones I needed to pick up. I also made a little notation next to the food that I already have waiting in my fridge for me to eat to make sure that I prioritize those meals first. The worst thing would be to buy new food and let those groceries I already have go to waste. When it comes to figuring out which foods that you wanna buy, it can be really confusing with all of the labels. Do you go for organic? Do you go for local? Do you go for the produce wrapped in plastic? Do you go for the produce not wrapped in plastic? It can be really difficult to make a perfect choice. So I just want you to know there is no perfect choice. It's all about doing the best that you can and take it in stride. Over time, you'll realize which products that you wanna buy, which ones work best for you and your budget, and which ones work best for you and your lifestyle. So I've got my list, and now it's time to go shopping. When it comes to buying produce, most of our produce doesn't even make it on the store shelves because it's misshaped. So one of the best things that you can do is look for the produce that is kind of wonky and make sure that you take it home. For instance, whenever it comes to peppers, most grocery stores will not accept a pepper unless it stands up straight. One of the reasons that I really like this market is that they prioritize making sure that we have wonky looking vegetables because these taste just as delicious, even though most of the time they might be thrown out. This is the discount rack. You will find these in a lot of grocery stores and this is one of the best places that you can buy produce. Not only is it discounted, but you're gonna be saving it from going to the landfill. So much of our food goes to landfill unnecessarily. So grab a bargain and even though it's wrapped in plastic, it's still the more eco-friendly choice. Over here, we've got a giant basket of lonely bananas. These are the bananas that aren't in a bunch. They're all alone. And most traditional grocers at the end of the night will go through, find all of the single bananas and just throw them away just because they're alone. Bananas typically travel really, really far, meaning that their emission cost is pretty high. So if you're shopping for bananas, make sure that you pick up a single one so it will no longer be alone. When it comes to reducing packaging waste when I shop, one of the best things I do is I shop from the bulk bins. I put the food in my own container, I take a picture of the PLU, so that way I don't have to use any trash, and I can ring it up at the front. But most of the time, when it comes to shopping in the bulk bins, the food gets into the bulk bin in really large packages like this. What's great about this is it reduces the packaging waste overall. If you were to buy a bunch of small one pound bags, it would be more packaging than if the bulk bin provides it in these giant plastic bags. But also, if you don't have bulk bins available to you, you don't have to feel guilty because the food doesn't magically appear in these bins. It gets in the bins in a bag as well. When it comes to getting breakfast, I absolutely love having bagels in the morning. So this is really simple. I have a closed weave bag. When you're buying things with your own bags, you wanna make sure that the weave is closed. This is an open weave, so dust and particles can get all over the grocery store, the conveyor belt, your grocery cart. So you wanna make sure that you have a closed weave bag so that way you won't injure anyone if anyone has a severe allergy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.